Hi, I am Shudhi from Informatica Technical Support. This presentation is about how to create a mapping with BAPI transformation. The agenda of this video includes what is BAPI, how Informatica communicates to BAPI, more about BAPI transformation and a small demo on how to create BAPI inside a mapping. What is BAPI? It is a business application programming interface and they are the standard SAP interfaces. They play an important role in the technical integration and in the exchange of business data between SAP components and between SAP and non-SAP components. BAPIs are de defined as API methods of SAP business object types. These business object types and their BAPIs are described and stored in the business object repository BOR. A BAPI is implemented as a function module that is stored and described in the function builder. How Informatica communicates to BAPI? So SAP R3 have BAPI components and there are SAP remote function calls called RFCs. So the BAPIs which we connect to or Informatica access is that are RFC enabled. So we have repository and our tick clients and then the integration service uh, which forks the DTM and DTM communicates to this SAP remote function call called RFC. And thus we get the data back. So BAPI transformation is, uh, it's naming us a BAPI RFC transformation and it is an active transformation. It uses a BAPI RFC transformation to make a RFC call like uh, for creating, changing or deleting data in the MyC app, uh, applications. BAPI RFC functions use function parameters or values to perform this task. So we'll go for a small demo on how this BAPI RFC transformation looks like and how we can create a mapping with that. So in the designer component, we could see uh, in the mapping tab an option to create a BAPI. So this is the icon to create the BAPI transformation or else we can take from mappings, I mean sorry, uh, transformation tab, create and select the SAP BAPI. go for the create so here you see the connection string ge6 this is a type a entry you can use both options either the host name which we ca you can provide the host name this number and all the details or a connection string which which you need uh, these entries to be already there in the rfc ina file so if you provide the entries here It will connect to the SAP bots and when it connects you could be able to see this tab next tab and here you can provide the BAPI name or if you haven't provided any BAPI name and uh, get objects you will get all the BAPIs in the, in the SAP function or else you can provide some description of the BAPI so I have the BAPI name here and I will provide the BAPI the BAPI which I use is BAPI company code get list so if I click on the get objects it will load the BAPI uh, and you can see the structure of the BAPI so it is in the SAP FI and uh, finally the BAPI is here and its description is the list of company codes so you can either uh, search by the name or with this description and the structure which you uh, see here is the export and import uh, export and the table structure so here these are the export parameters and you can, you can see the table parameters as well so here company code is a t uh, table which have this structure and you can see the return structure here you can click on this and go for the next so here also you could be able to see the return uh, I mean the table and export parameters you can finish you can click on the finish and you will see the BAPI transformation created so here you can see the uh, SAP transaction parameters here this is the scalar input scalar output Th this will be con consisting on the in only the input and output if you see the you could see the output puts only in the scalar output but uh, for table parameters we will have uh, table input and output and also 
there will be an error output which is returning from the BAPI. You could provide a source and target and uh, get this data from the BAPI and uh, load into a target. So this can be used for uh, many purposes but only the functions which have been RFC enabled can be used as BAPI. Th there are uh, standard BAPIs and custom BAPIs. So custom BAPIs is something which customer can create and this can be used for uh, as a lookup table where we can use the BAPI functions to look into the SAP tables. So if you want a lookup uh, to do a lookup transformations or lookup uh, things with the SAP tables you can use the BAPIs. So I will create a small source and target and show you how the mapping has been. So here is the uh, source which I have created for this. So I will So I have mapped uh, uh, all the sources, then the targets. So this is the way we could create a mapping in the SAP uh, using the SAP BAPI RLC ma uh, transformation. Um, one more thing, if you want to see the uh, tr structure on the custom BAPI, you can use this uh, launch customized BAPI interface and you will be able to see the export and uh, table input output parameters here. Um, if you want to use the integration ID, uh, you can use HML generator to create that. And uh, while creating the workflow, the things uh, which we have to take care of the connections so you can provide the SAP uh, server connection in the SAP RFC transformation so I can, I can show you that as well create a new workflow for this So in the mapping tab for the transmission, you'll be able to see a SAP RFC uh, ap application connection record for this and you can provide that connection. So uh, you have to provide the connection string uh, perfectly. Uh, it should be whatever you have used to connect uh, in the SAP BAPI like uh, if you have connected to a uh, uh, system A then uh, the BAPI should be in the system A it might not be in the system B so you, sh you should be cautious uh, while creating this connection and you have to provide the username and password here and uh, th there are some parameters which you have to take care as a uh, perform commit perform commit wait so uh, what are these parameters is about so perform uh, commit is uh, SAP BAPI uh, performs a commit function along with the BAPI commit function so if we disable this pass and integration uh, function will not perform a commit perform commit wait wait until this uh, commit is performed to continue the session so that's it from my side uh, regarding the ba uh, BAPI uh, in the mapping so this is the way you can create a mapping using the uh, BAPI RFC uh, transformation. Uh, so uh, to sum up, this is the BAPI RFC transformations, which can, which is a built-in function in the uh, map mapping or designer tab, uh, which can be used to uh, call to the BAPI functions. Uh, uh, BAPI's functions are uh, nothing but the SAP functions which have RFC enabled uh, which can be called by a remote uh, application so uh, thank you for watching this video we would like to hear from you so please send your feedbacks
you can write to support videos at informatica.com and follow us on the twitter at twitter.com info, info support thank you for watching this video